All right. Hey, my name is Britt Veeman with North Beach Windsurfing, and we're here with TSDU from uh, Starboard Foils. And we're here to talk about the Starboard, uh, the new Starboard Foil, the Super Cruiser. Yeah. Uh, Super Cruiser, it's, um, it's a newest foil to our windsurfing collection. Uh, it's a totally different style of wind foiling. Um, you know, people maybe describe it different way, different ways, uh, free move, freestyle. Uh, for me, the main way to describe this type of foiling is that you are foiling um, before you get planing. So these, these big area wings, they allow you to, to hop onto the foil uh, before you get planing. So you can use smaller gear, smaller sails, so you can get uh, foiling in less wind. The other type of foiling is with uh, smaller wings. So you kind of get planing first. So, you know, you're with a harness, the usual, sure. typical. Like the GT. And the GTR, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you look at the m earliest takeoff you can achieve with the regular type of foils, so for us it would be the race, mm -hmm. you're looking at maybe six knots of wind. And with the Super Cruiser, I would say, yeah, roughly about six knots of wind as well. Oh, wow. But, but with a much smaller sail. With a much smaller sail, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. And so the wing is much bigger. The wing is a 1700, so 1700, that gives you a nice, a lot of float. Uh, so when you're coming in at a low speed, let's say you're doing transitioning in the tribe, you stay on the foil super easy. Sure. That's really nice. People are doing 360s easily. Um, what's special about our wing here is that even though the area is pretty big, 1700, it's also um, a relatively low aspect ratio, so it gives you a lot of lift, but it's also a thin profile. So instead of being one of the lowest typically thick kind of wings, sure. uh, you still get the speed and the glide from having a thin profile. Good job. Keep going. Keep awesome. Going. And then the tail wing? The tail wing, uh, the combination of the tail wing, a high aspect, large surface area tail wing combined with the fuselage, which is the, the 87 length fuselage, um, it gives you a lot of stability. So you, we, you know, if we went longer, because we tested a little bit longer, then you start to get really stable, but it almost becomes a little bit um, too, too stable. Sure. A little bit shorter is not bad either. Um, you know, you can turn really quickly, uh, but you it becomes maybe a little bit too technical. Mm. So we found that 87 was a good combination, balanced, stable, easy, and maneuverable and painful. And um, in the back wing adjust? It adjusts, so we use uh, what we call a rocker system. Uh, if you undo these bolts, you can then slide the wing slightly further back or forwards and that rocker systems allows it to tilt angle. So to make, you know, whether you're fitting the foil upside down with the board facing down, or if you're thinking about it on the water, it gets confusing. So what we usually call it is uh, adding tail kick to mm -hmm. the wing, or reducing the tail kick to the wing. And then uh, people figure it out which way they go. So if you increase the tail kick, you're getting a board that will be a lot more um, lifty. Sure. Uh, so as you go if you're trying to go in lighter winds. Yeah, it helps to to take off. Um, however, if it gets stronger winds, then that extra tail wing kick makes the board want to lift out all the time. Mm -hmm. So in high winds, I kill it and move the wing all the way backwards, mm. which means you get almost zero tail sure. kick, and then the, the you get a lot of control. Got it. The mast, uh, so we decided to go with an 85 centimeter mast. Uh, 75 is possibly a little bit too short. People are finding like, it's great for beginners. Sure. Um, but the thing with, with mast lengths is that if you go too short, you actually come out of the water more easily. Yes. Um, so we found 85 was a good ideal size. 95 is what the pro racers would use and 85 yeah. is a good middle combination. It's a... Uh, it's a very special mass that we designed to be really, really stiff. And not only stiff sideways, but also stiff in, in torsion, because that's what gives you the, all the control and the comfort of foiling. The last thing you want to do is have a, a spongy mass because yes. then you're all over the all place. Over the place. Yeah. Yes, I've felt those before. Mm. Um, and then, and this is still pretty light. Yep, this is uh, the hollow, hollow uh, core um, mast. Uh, the wings are made in carbon, and uh, so everything is designed to be lightweight. You can see our new tunnel head here. Um, so this is a one-piece injection molded. So the mask goes all the way inside, and this is a lightweight casting over the top, which makes it really stiff, but makes it extra light as well. And then 
I saw earlier on another demonstration, is there a, a tunnel head that fits down on this as well? Uh, you mean a, a, a top plate adapter top, for tunnel? Top plate adapter, yeah. yes. So we've got that as well um, in case you had a uh, dual track top plate system on yes. your board. You simply put the adapter on. Uh, what's interesting is that we use um, the dual stainless steel nuts here. So that means that it's a lot stronger. You won't have corrosion issues. Uh, some some mast you drill directly a, a tapped M6 hole in there, but what happens then is that you've got a stainless steel bolt that grabs onto soft aluminium, and that might be a little bit uh, fragile. Or I've seen people putting screws in the first time a little bit off, yes. and then that's it. You know, yes. you're you're screwed, so to speak. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Let's let's see if we can find that top plate adapter. Oh, it's a smaller one. And then we've got another one, which is a 20. So this is the 67. This should be quite a popular little, um, little accessory. We've made it really light. So. It is pretty light, actually. Mm. Nice. And I like the fact that you have the quick, uh, the, uh, the quick access. Well, it's quicker when you. Yeah. So when you're sliding in the board, it's super quick. You yeah. can use a little. Yeah. Check that out. That's a different. That's a different bolt too. Yep. That's where it just so sits right in there. Exactly. So everything is designed to be lightweight. Mm -hmm. You can see here on the top, uh, you see the holes over here. So we've elongated these holes here, so that um, you know, depending on the the deep tunnel foil that you're adapting to, uh, you've got a little bit of tolerance. Oh, good. If it was just you know, sometimes it's a little bit off. Mm -hmm. So, or if you know, you have a slightly different angle. Just um, like the hole, the fin box holes in the starboard boards. Exactly. We made them longer. So yeah, so that and just, it doesn't matter which way it goes. It doesn't matter. Um, I like to have the uh, riding facing forwards. <laughs> it doesn't. But yeah, so that fits right in there. And then you just drop in the screws. Um, and you can use either the, the bolts to tighten everything down or you can... And this would actually be pretty nice, like in a, a foreign, you know, one of the starboard foreign ones, or um, yeah. depending on what what system yeah. your board has. Yeah, exactly. The only thing you want to remember is that this adds um, seven centimeters to the length of your mast. Yeah. Um, sometimes that's actually that's desired because a lot of people want a little taller mast. Exactly. So at this stage, you could either yeah. Put it in your board, tilt it backwards and forwards. Yeah. Um, or just use the bolt to tighten it down. And is there a way to make sure it's all the way down, other than just um, tightening till it stops? Yeah, I think when you you can really feel. A solid, um, it, it, you know, like right now you can see you're just turning. Mm -hmm. You feel a bit of resistance, but you can tell it. And once it, it arrives, it, it literally just stops, stops and you, you know you've reached the bottom. But yeah, normally you take off these four bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does it. make it easier. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. This is the Starboard Super Cruiser um, by Starboard Foils. We're lo really looking forward. We've been riding on it some. Um, we're really looking forward to it for this year. Cool. Awesome.